Alexander. I'm a final year PhD student at Aston University and also Nottingham University. Um, I'm working on this, this project with, um, with this centre, so the TTC, the Tactical Training Centre, uh, Aston and Nottingham, um, where we're using neuroscience methods and psychology sort of study methods um, to make VR scenarios for police firearms training, um, so for AFOs. Uh, and during those, we can we can compare the decisions of you know, expert decision makers, people who, who do this for their career, versus versus novices, uh, and try and find out sort of where the differences are in, in, in their brain activity. No, no, no! Stand still. So, got a gun. Put the gun down. Put the weapon down. Shots fired. This man down. VR um, is is very immersive. The idea is that you feel present uh, in, in a virtual environment in the same way that you would, that we feel present in the real world sort of all the time. Um, so the more present, the more the more immersed somebody is within within a scenario, um, say one in virtual reality, the more real the behaviour is going to be, um, the more natural, uh, and therefore the more valid the measurements that we make. And so one of those measurements is, is of course EEG, so electroencephalography. What are you doing? What's going on? That's it, you, yes, you, come over here. Need to speak to you. We can use that to understand not just um, a recording of what they did, but what was going on in the brain before they did it, after they did it, during the whole process. Um, and that means that we can make much stronger comparisons and really understand more about the, 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 the whole function and what's, what's interesting about experts. Police, you behind the bin, show yourself. Come on, get up and show yourself now. It's essentially game development, so you go, go through that route and then you try and manipulate it so that it, it's a psychology experiment, it's got explicit timings. Uh, you make animations, so I wander around, I've got this sort of body suit that I wear and I do, I do all the animations that you might see. Um, put them avatars, put them in environments, make those avatars so that you can uh, taser them uh, or just sort of watch what they do. And, and then of course there's the neuroscience element, what do we do with the data, how do we design the experiments so that they're rigorous and valid. We're very lucky this, this, this centre, the Tactical Training Centre, has been, been fantastic for providing participants. I come up for, for whole weeks, um, test two or three people a day. Nice and steady, nice and steady. We're just about to test uh, number 27, uh, participant 27, so a good representative sample, you know, considering there's maybe 60, 60 AFOs in each of these police forces within Durham and Cleveland. Shots fired, man down. Need a paramedic.